What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, so today, we're gonna cover this, well, it was a hideous LVL beam. We covered it up with some uh, nice plywood, some one by fours, and uh, maybe like a one by twos, um, and some you know, necessary metal. Uh, so this whole project was fairly cheap. I'll kind of go through that. Um, but if you ever get a beam to knock out a wall like what, what we did here, and you're looking for, um, you know, you don't know how to cover it or what to do. You don't want to drywall it. That's boring. Well, this right here is a, shh. This right here is a great alternative. So this big, it costs a couple hundred dollars, but buddy, it's worth it. It's 18 foot long. It stands out. Um, as you can tell back here, we even did another one because we liked it so much. So come along. Let's get after it and get to work. Alrighty, so this is what we're dealing with here. Uh, this big old massive long beam. So it's about a little bit over a foot on one side and the ceiling drops down. So it's like 14 inches to 2 inches. I want to wrap this all the way around. You can tell I already started here on the sides. And I have the, fa the point looking facing us right now is sticking out further. So it kind of makes it look more seamless than right here. You can see that that's... Uh, I put that board on right there first, and then I put the outside ones surrounding it. So that's exactly what we'll do with this beam here. Um, first up we're going to do here is measure it, and see it was about 19 feet, I believe. Um, so we'll measure this out, see how much we need. So it's about 18 feet, misspoke. Uh, so that's going to mean that we're basically going to have three six-foot boards. So I have a couple cut right here. I cut these in six-foot. Um, so I'm going to put one on each end, and then the middle one, I'll wait to cut the middle one after I get these boards up here so I can make sure it's a nice, flush, smooth fit. Um, and I'll do that all around. I'm going to do the ends and then the middle pieces. So um, for the front, bottom, and the back. So here we go, just slap it on this. Uh, the two end pieces, I just used a nail gun for this, very simple. You know, I think that these are 18 gauge. And it's been up here for a while and it's held up just fine. So that goes for all pieces. So we hit the outs, the edge parts. And then now I'll measure right here to see, um, to get the precise measurement of what this uh, middle piece is. Out to cutting we go. So right here, I'm ripping the back pieces. Not the bottom, I just measured, but the back. So I'm ripping that down. It ended up being like an inch and a half, two inches. Um, and then, uh, so for the front piece, it's 14 inches long. My table saw only goes 12 inches wide, and this is 14 inches wide. So I'm gonna have to whip out the old circular saw, the handy dandy trusty circular saw, and uh, cut this baby down into sheets here. So this is for the front. I'm using a nice big piece of plywood, three quarter inch. Um, got it at Lowe's. And after I cut it here, I'm gonna throw it up here. So this is just, like I said, a nice three quarter inch stainable plywood. Uh, looks just like you would of one by four, one by eight, whatever else. Um, so once I dry fit everything, like I did right there, I dry fitted the back, the bottom, and the front edges. Um, now we'll slap on some wood finish. I just use espresso and uh, here I am just throwing it down real nice and heavy and then wiping it clean for a nice, um, to where it's not tacky or anything. Simple, basic. You probably know how to drop some stain on. Whichever way you like to drop it on, drop it on. And of course, this is happening after we sanded. Don't forget that. All right, so now here comes the fun part. So we're going to, this is after we stain, it's dried next day. So you can see I've got some drill, holes drilled in here. They're spaced two feet apart, so they're even. Um, so at two foot and four foot or two foot from each end, I have those two holes drilled on each board, and that is for hardware. So I got some lag bolts, some washers. You can go pay big money for these. I think it could would have cost me about 80 bucks for this this lag bolts that were quote unquote beam for beams. Well, I got this for about $11 for the whole thing and just spray painted them. And that's what we're using here. So, um, 
here we go. We're gonna attach all these boards. Um, as I showed, I had pre-drilled these, these fronts here. And um, that will be able to attach those lag bolts so that we kind of don't mess any that up. So again, all other boards are attached now except for this middle front piece. So now we will measure that out after we get everything up. Eh. Ran out of nails here, had to have the missus come and hold that up because I was a little bit unprepared. So now we'll finish up putting this up after the booty tap. Ow! And then we'll measure this middle front piece um, and then make sure that then we'll cut that, stain it, etc., etc. Basically just repeat what we've already done. And then of course a uh, dry fit uh, before you do this. Um, so I'm dry fitting this and I'll dry fit the back middle piece because um, that's the only other piece that's lacking back there. So. We got all the bottom in, then we were able to surround it with the front and back pieces. So both of those look good, we'll go stain them. So here's the fun part I was talking about. Giving a little bit of look, a little bit of character for cheap. These are not meant to hold anything. I mean, this beam's holding itself up here. So um, we pre-drilled the boards and then we took the drill, drilled, drilled a bigger bit into the LVL beam and then we were able to torque it a little bit. Um, not go too tight, don't want to don't want to tear out that um, spray painted coating of matte black spray paint, but um, get a little bit tight. So now I'm gonna measure these little seams here. So I have just this little, I believe it's 1 16th inch, just flexible metal basically. And I'm gonna use this. This big old piece cost me, I believe, eight to $11, I don't know, something like that. So my materials for this hardware ended up being like 25 bucks or less when it would have cost well over a hundred if I would have got, you know, whatever they try to sell, upsell. So it's easier to cut this with some bolt cutters is what I found out. Um, don't hit yourself in the face. Sometimes that does happen. So we'll cut this and then I'm gonna go take it. So I measured the front, bottom, and back just a second ago. And that's what I cut this link to. So now I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to bend it around the bottom and then bend it around the back and it should be perfect length. So if the front of this was 14 inches, which it was, if the middle was, I believe, almost five inches and the back was two, well, you just basically add those up and that's what you cut this length to. And then you'll see I'm sitting here folding this. It, this 1 16th inch is pretty um, foldable. You can kind of work with it pretty good. So once we get this kind of folded how we want it, um, and I got it nice and snug around there, then we'll be able to take it and pre-drill some holes into it for, yes, you guessed it, some more pretty lag bolts after we spray paint it. So what I want to do is make it a third of the way down, right? Just like how the other ones were. So same distance as the other lag bolts. So there I have pre-drilled that and then we'll pre-drill the back, right? Smack down in the middle for one lag bolt in the back also. Just adds a little character, makes it look a little sexy, a little flair, good little conversation piece, a little wow factor. So there's how you drill a pilot hole. All right, so right there, perfect size. Um, just get whatever size lag bolt you have, whether it be 316, 3 inches, whatever size you get. I forgot what size I got. Just whatever makes you, whatever you think looks good and beefy enough. So that's how we do those two middle seams. Now I go to the outside, and this you can't really wrap around. So I'm going to take the same pieces, but I'm going to measure one just for the front, measure two of them just for the bottom to go to the top and the bottom. Bottom, if that makes sense, you'll be able to see, and then one for the back. So, as you can see, these are all cut into different pieces. This is not wrapped around it because you can't wrap it around. Throw some more matte black on here. Let her dry. You have to flip this, of course. And then those end pieces, so they'll be 14 inches, about 5 inches, and about 2 inches. All different, all cut separate instead of wrapped around. So your two middles which meet the two 
basically the ends of the middle board here, we'll wrap around. We have those pilot holes drilled, or we're marking the pilot holes right here. We're gonna drill them. Start with a smaller drill bit, go to a bigger one. It'll make your life easier. And then we will torque them in a little bit um, with a wrench set. So, but again, don't kind of be easy on it. You don't have to get it completely tight. You're not holding anything. It's just there for style, there for, there to look good. So don't take off the spray paint. That'd be kind of counterproductive. All right, so now here we come to the ends. So the ends, I'm just gonna do the same thing, pre-drill, drill. And we are going to the front part, I can drill in here. I get to the back and I get to the bottom part and it's not that simple. So I got this power grab, this like ultimate power grab from Lowe's. This stuff is the bee's knees. It is, thank God for 2022 technology. So just a little dap on these pieces. And then you just put a little bit on that, squeeze it on there. I mean, it holds within like two seconds. There's nothing to it. So we do that for the two bottom pieces and then we'll do that for the back piece. And we'll do that on each side. And this baby is done. Well, I'll tell you what, I hope that that helps give you an idea how to cover up a big atrocious beam like this. Um, like I said, don't know pricing now uh, with all the wood uh, increases and stuff, but really something that stands out, something that's fairly easy to do and that you can kind of get your own stuff like the hardware, make it cheap, um, but still look classy and look good. Uh, Follow along, we have some more stuff on more stuff that we've done here in the kitchen and in the uh, living room area. Go we'll tag on some of those, fireplace, concrete, hearth, um, mantle. It just adds up, we're making this house a home, so go get it. Thanks for watching.